Good morning to you and you and you. Anyway, it is Friday. Hey, um, y'all, I have so much to do. I have a whole list as always. My weekends are always, I always have to put a list or otherwise I'll forget. I'll simply forget how, what I was supposed to do. But yeah, I have my bedding in the back. I'm going to strip it. I don't really know if I have time to actually wash the sheets because I have all my laundry and Zachary's laundry to do and it's piled up. <laughs> so, I'm going to try the best I can to get it all done today as far as the washing because tomorrow we have the water's going to be turned off at 8. You're probably wondering why. It's because we're getting two new pump water pumps put in. And the guy's coming at 8. Or even a little bit before. I don't know. But anyway, so guess what? Who has to get up early tomorrow to get a shower? Mwah! And Zachary as well. I personally, I don't know if I've told you this in a vlog or a video, but I have, that's part of my wake up routine. As soon as I get up, beeline to the shower as fast as I can because. Uh, that helps me wake one. It helps me wake up two. I don't like going around stinky. Ugh. I'm all about keeping myself clean and keeping my hygiene to a minimum. Obviously, I do sweat. I go out and do stuff outside and mow and all that stuff. But as soon as I can, I be led to the shower to get clean. So, and <clears throat> also with work, I also get gross. But anyway. No matter what, I have to take a shower. I don't like being gross. So early up in the morning, I'll be getting up and taking a shower, washing my, brush my teeth, and then I get Zachary, and then we can go back to sleep for a little bit, maybe an hour or two, and then get up again to get ourselves going. So that's Saturday's going to be, I guess you say awkward, weird, because. The water should be turned off, and I, it probably won't get turned back on until the afternoon. Like, completely turned back on. Hopefully no complications happen, come across, and we can, the guy can instill it, install it pretty quickly, and then we can have our water back on. So, I don't know. I know Mom's going to have laundry to do, and I have laundry. I guess we'll be doing laundry all day long, is basically what happens. Because tomorrow, we won't get too much laundry done. We can get Ricky's done tomorrow evening. He can get his done in the evening because he doesn't have very much. He has the least amount of laundry. I don't understand that. He should have a lot more. I guess he doesn't change out his clothes as much as the rest of us does. I don't understand that. Considering he's a truck driver and he should be clean, changing it out every day. But anyway, I guess he doesn't care about his stench as much. <coughs> Ugh. Men are gross, I tell you. Not every man is disgusting. Some men actually like hygiene, stay hygienic, but the men in our house, mm, gross. So yeah, I have to prepare also our toilet in case we need to flush a toilet. I have to make sure there's a bucket of water near it in case it needs to be flushed. But anyway. Back today and still tomorrow. We're not talking about tomorrow. Enough to tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow has its own worries. Today is today. So I need a vacuum, clean the bathroom. Obviously, I have to get that done. I gotta make my intro video. I got to work on that. I might just work. This is also some of this is for tomorrow, so I might work on that tomorrow because I'll have a lot to do today. So I could probably do that tomorrow. Obviously, I'm vlogging. I'll edit tomorrow. Why do I clean the bathroom twice on here? Weird. Anyway, work on dollhouse. I can always, if I don't get done that today, I can do that tomorrow. Paint the bay windows with gray paint. I got to do that. I gotta find my star chart um, that I made for the kids and I write their names on it. I have taught three new children. So I've got to put those their names on there. Obviously, Zach and I's laundry, and I gotta soak my feet. I, I've been putting that off for so many weeks now. 
my poor feet are just well they're always ugly but they're just even worse because I'm ruffling them so I'm on them all the time also today I well a couple days ago I saw someone what was it a recipe I don't know someone is eating cheesecake I've been wanting cheesecake for a while now and we have pretty much all the ingredients it's actually pretty easy to make didn't realize it was that easy to make but anyway I've been wanting a cheesecake since last year in November for Thanksgiving didn't get it didn't get it for Christmas so I gotta put my actions what is the word? actions in my own hands is that how you say it I don't know I'm gonna do it myself basically <clears throat> and mom's really busy and hectic and I'm like I could do this myself I'm an adult I can do this anyway we have pretty much all the ingredients except for graham crackers but do I need a crust I don't know does it need it probably not I mean it adds a little bit more to it question you can put this in the comments down below is a cheesecake a cake or is it a pie because it's in a pie dish for the most part but it has cake in the word so I don't understand if cheesecake is a cake or a pie or it's a combination of both so comment down below if you guys can what your opinion is Cause I really don't know but either way it tastes good it's fattening but it's really really good it's one of my favorite desserts if you guys didn't know my favorite dessert is cheesecake I have this little sampler cheesecake. There's like five or six flavors. And it's, you know, really small pieces. But it's like, I would say maybe yay big at Aldi's. So maybe for my birthday, Mom will let me get it. <laughs> Which, by the way, is coming next month. Yay. I'm going to be turning 30, y'all. I am getting old. I really am. But God has blessed me with 30 years. Almost 30 years of life. That's amazing that I've survived this long. So, let's see what my 30s bring. I'm actually embracing my 30s. I didn't used to, and I was devastated. But now I'm just going to embrace it, you know? There's... I mean, age is inevitable, and you have to accept it. That's just the way it is. So I'm ex kind of excited to be turning 30. I mean, it's kind of a big deal because I'm hitting a new decade, but then not at the same time because I'm an adult and I don't care about birthdays. But this birthday is going to be different. I mean, in a way, for me it is. I don't know how anyone else feels, but for me it is. So, yay! I'm happy to celebrate this year. Um... What are we doing on a, my birthday is on a, what? It's on a Monday. So I might be working at Zussie's house that day, because we, no. Zussie's house will be turned back on Fridays. So I might be off on Monday. I don't know. We'll see if what happens, but it's on a Monday this year. So we'll figure out what's going to happen that day. I don't expect to do much, but it would be nice to. Maybe I'll even invite, I don't know if she'll be available, but maybe I can invite my bestie to celebrate with me. Maybe, because we celebrate with her on her birthday, so maybe she'll come and celebrate with us and her, her mom, but I don't know. Depends on how they're feeling, because their mom's health is declining and not the greatest. Hopefully she'll be okay, and hopefully her bestie's available, and she, I don't know, she should be up. Should be out of school by then. I don't know. I don't know if she'll be done school by then or not. But anyway, I'm rambling, and that's later down in the future. So we'll worry about that then. So we'll figure it out, and you guys will eventually see. Anyway, I gotta get myself going. I am babbling too long, and I it's yeah, it's a little after nine. So I need to go get myself going. So I'll see you guys at some point. I guess at Bible time. So we'll see. Okay, home roll is back. I vacuumed. I cleaned the bathroom just now. My bed is all made. Working on laundry. So, what is next?
come with me and we'll find out. Or you'll find out. No one's home yet, so time to do it. What we're gonna do is make a cheesecake, hopefully. It turns out good. I'm gonna be upset if it doesn't, or be dis not really upset, it's be disappointed, really. So, put you there. Other one, wasn't it? Ugh, that was the other one. Shoot. Well, we'll have to look it up. I know I called for Fernello. Hold on. I have to use the mixer to beat up this cheesecake. Hello, Green. breadcrumbs. Yeah, that or it's coffee. Easy wipe out. I don't have crust, so I might just skip out on that. Two packages of this, half a cup of sugar. Oh, geez. Two eggs, really? What's the eggs for? Is that the graham cracker? Heat? What the heck? It actually has to go in. I don't recall it always going in here. Maybe because there's eggs in it? That's probably why. Okay. We're going to actually put it in the toaster oven is what we're going to do. Because <clears throat> that will take less time. cheese cream. Okay, I need the ingredients here. Put this cheese. Why can't I open this? Usually it's easy. Oh, maybe it's a tear. No. There we go. There's the flap. Cream cheese going in. 
go in. There we go. I love cream cheese, y'all. That one turned out nicely. Also tastes good on a bagel. Sugar. I find where that is. Isn't it up here? Oh, I need flour. I can't see anything. We have organic, we find sugar, that'll work. Okay, half a cup of that. Did eggs yet? Vanilla. I need the vanilla. Oh, eggs is late. Last. Okay. Um. So I need the vanilla. Which I hope we have. It's bad enough we don't have a crust. Aha. We do. Uh, half a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. So now I have to beat this up. Or the let's do this one, the whisk part. in here. Oh, I thought 
actually what I thought I was going to do, but did it anyway. Maybe the egg makes it more liquidy. Two eggs, by the way. some on my cheek. Lovely. Oh, it's lovely. Like scrambled eggs. This is turning out lovely. <laughs> Come on. getting somewhere maybe <laughs> crush some pretzels. We have pretzels. Will that work? I don't know. I don't want to waste pretzels though. I don't know. We're gonna see. Enough 
pretzels. <sighs> now to crunch them up. Where's that meat cleaver? Here it is. I'll be back. We'll get this done. I'll be back. Alright, so this is the results. I kind of crunched it up as much as possible, but it'll do, right? It's just going to have to do. That's all there is. I don't really care. As long as it tastes good, I don't care what else is going to happen. Okay, let's take this. It's still pretty clumpy, but whatever. Whatever. Add up the heat because it keeps on. It's a time bomb, basically. <laughs> I took forever, so I had to put the heat up. I still think it's gonna taste good. Either way be different. And the best part is I get to lick this afterwards. Utensils. Yum. I know it's not good to do that all the time, but as long as it's not all eating raw egg all the time, it'll be alright. Cover up that pretzel here. And then this will not be done until like three hours later. It's four hours it takes Time for it to be done. Alright, let the rest be for me. Mmm. Oh, that's good some good stuff there. So I'm gonna stick it out in the toaster oven right here. Alright, you can go 40 minutes. There we go. Stuck in there and then three hours in the fridge. like it's gonna rain again. Lovely. Weather is lovely. Mmm. Probably don't want to watch me eat like this, so I'm gonna finish this up, clean it up, and next time you see me, we'll probably be reading Bible time, so. I'm back so the cheesecake is now in the fridge which will have to be three hours in <clears throat> so sometime this evening I can probably eat it or tomorrow or whenever anyway turned out not too bad um so 
I'm going to have lunch ready, but it's cooling off, I guess. So, meantime, it is everybody's favorite time of the vlog, Bible time. And we are in Revolution Chapter. I think 19 now. Yeah. Yes, we're in chapter 19. Songs of victory and heaven. Yes. Amen. Can I get an amen? Comment down. Amen. Because we do have the victory. Because Jesus... Yes, because of Jesus, we have the victory to go and the privilege to go to heaven. So, comment down below. Amen. I don't know what you guys are talking about if you say that. Okay, after this, I heard what sounded like a vast crowd in heaven shouting, Praise the Lord! Salvation and glory and power belong to our God. His judgments are true and just. He has punished the great prostitute who corrupted the earth with her immorality. He has avenged the murder of his servants. And again, their voices rang out, Praise the Lord! The smoke from that city ascends forever and ever. Then the twenty-four elders and the four living beings fell down and worshipped God, who was sitting on the throne. So despite how destructive those beasts were, they, just like everyone, is going to fall down before the Lord and worship Him and acknowledge that He is the Lord. A to the Amen. And then the throne came... And from the throne came a voice that said, Praise our God, all his servants, all who fear him, from the least to the greatest. Then I heard again what sounded like a shout of a vast crowd of the roar of a mighty ocean waves or the crash of loud thunder. Praise the Lord, for the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Let us be glad and rejoice, and let us give glory to him, to him, for the time has come for the wedding feast of the Lamb, and his bride has prepared herself. She has been given the finest of pure white linen to wear, for the fine linen represents the good deeds of God's holy people. And the angel said to me, Write this, Blessed are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. And he added, These are the true words that came from God. Then I fell down at his feet to worship him. But he said, No, don't worship me. I am a servant of God, just like you and your brothers and sisters who testify about their faith in Jesus. Worship only God, for the essence of a essence of prophecy is to give a clear witness for Jesus. The rider on the white horse. Then I saw heaven open, and a white horse was standing there. Its rider was named Faithful and True, for he judges fairly and wages a righteous war. His eyes were like flames of fire, and his head were many crowns. A name was written on him that no one understood except himself. He wore a robe dipped in blood, and his title was the Word of God. The armies of heaven, dressed in finest of pure white linen, followed him on white horses. From his mouth came a sharp sword to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron rod. He will release the fierce wrath of God, though a mighty like juice flowing from a wine press. On his robe uh, <clears throat> at his thigh was written this title, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Now, I'm pretty sure you all are catching on to what we're talking about. That is Jesus. Jesus is the rider on the white horse. Then I saw an angel standing in the sun shouting to the vultures flying high in the sky, come gather together for the great banquet God has prepared. Come and eat the flesh of kings, generals, and strong warriors of horses and their riders and all of humanity, both free and slave, small and great. Then I saw the beasts and the kings of the world and the armies gathered together to fight against the one sitting on the horse and his army. The beast was captured, and with him the false prophet who did mighty miracles on behalf of the beast, miracles that deceived all who accepted the mark of the beast and who worshipped his statue. Both the beast and his false prophet were thrown alive into the fire lake of burning sulfur. Their entire army was killed by the sharp sword that came from the mouth of the one riding the white horse. Sharp sword the Bible, the Word of God. <clears throat> Obviously, the right rider on the white horse is Jesus. And the vultures all gorged himself on the deadly bodies. Mm, lovely. 
So that is chapter 19 of Revelation. We'll be getting into chapter 20, which is the thousand years. That's a long time. Even Earth hasn't been. We haven't even, even us as human beings have not been living that long on Earth. Even though those who believe in evolution say that it's been millions of years old. Load of crap. It's only been a couple of thousand years that Earth has been, people here on Earth has been alive, and then God made it a little over 2,000 years ago. I would not say it's been a million years, because that is false, so don't believe it. Anyway, thank you as always, Lord, for your living, breathing word. So I'm going to cool off, I'm going to eat, and then get myself going. I'm going to tr continue to do laundry, because I've almost done mine. Just put my last in the wash. And then once, and I'll start on Zachary's once that is done, so. Yeah, so I'll see you guys. Don't mind my crazy hair. It's, my hair has been starting to get, it's always crazy, but it is getting frizzy as humidity is starting to slowly creep its way in. By the way, it has been pretty nice this week, minus like the rain, but that's to be expected. To be expected in April, there's a lot of rain, but at least it's only rain and not snow. The snow can go away until the end of this year, <laughs> until winter is back again. But in the meantime, it's spring. Let's enjoy it, right? And all the birds and everything that's chirping are out. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna get stop rambling, and I'll see you guys at some point. Yo, I'm back. Don't mind my crazy hair. It's just been crazy. It's just crazy all the time. I don't understand. I can't really explain why my hair is the way it is. Anyway, made dinner, had pasta night, um, Italian night I guess you'd say, and garlic bread and some vegetables. So it was good, edible. By the way, cheesecake is turned out excellent. Unfortunately, my mom found out. <laughs> but anyway, she can't really eat it though. How works? It's got pretzels. And, it, and it's still hidden. I don't know if Ricky heard. Zachary doesn't know about it. I, hopefully Ricky didn't hear about it. But, or he was ignoring my mom, hopefully. <laughs> um, anyway, I got my laundry done. Zach's is halfway done. I got one load in the wash, one load in the dryer. So it's almost done. He knows about it. Right now, I'm currently soaking my feet. So, yeah. Um, I took... 30 minutes or less of a nap today. So mom got a nap, so that was great. And her meeting with our pastor's sister went really well, so I'm grateful for that. Um, she was stressing about it so much, and I'm glad it went well and everything was approved and blah, blah, blah for VBS. So VBS is on. It'll be a little different this year. It's going to be different. Um, so I'm hoping the best and everything goes well and the kids enjoy themselves. Um, which isn't until June, so I don't know. I will be taking pictures that day, but I don't know how much I'll actually film. I mean, I'll film some things, but I'm not actually putting the video together and I'm not putting it on my channel. So I don't know how much I'll be able to do. Maybe I'll take some pictures of my outfits or whatever for that day. I'm not going to really dress up necessarily. Like I have in the past, but we'll see. We'll see what goes on. I still don't even know who's getting pie in the face this year besides mom. I don't know. We'll see who's going to get pie in the face. Anyway, have anything going on right now? I don't think I have anything else to update. Oh, well, I can show you this. <clears throat> um. So yesterday I got a, our, one of our clients always offer us drinks, they always have um, drinks in their houses and we're allowed to get one. Anyway, I got this energy drink, it's called Uptime, it's, a, it's raspberry lemon flavored with other natural flavors. It's supposed to mentally, physically, a physical energy drink, natural caffeine and alkaline, I don't know what that means, sugar free. 
express to awaken the senses with a refreshing sparkling blend of raspberry and lemon and other natural flavors. Our exclusive blend of ingredients will help you perform at your best. Uptime. How energy should feel. I don't really know if it really works that well to me. For me, it really doesn't. It helped me a little bit. There's zero fat, zero sodium, zero, one thing of carbs, no protein. 115 milligrams of calcium, vitamin C, 9 milligrams. And it has calcium. Or caffeine, I mean. 142 milligrams of natural caffeine, which is more than a soda would have. But, again, no matter how many times I try to drink energy drinks or whatever, or something with caffeine, it doesn't really do me much good, because I get tired, no matter what, so... It tastes good, don't get me wrong. It's free of dyes and everything, so I guess it's somewhat healthy and somewhat not. Anyway, I'm just gonna chill out, relax, soak my feet for a while, and just, you know, relax for the rest of the night, so get the rest of Zachary's laundry done. And I'll be waking up early in the mornings. I don't know when I'll start the vlog, because I'll probably end up going back to sleep after I take my shower for an hour or two, and then get up eventually. Yay, it's going to be fun not having the water on. I have to remember not to flush the toilet. I did prepare a bucket of water in case we need to flush the toilet. Oh, the guy has the water tanks. The water turned off. We'll see. We'll see how things go. So, I have stuff to keep me occupied otherwise. <sighs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. As always, keep on smiling, stay positive. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!